What's up YouTube? Murphy Farms Training here. Uh, I want to talk today about measuring barrel length. Um, and so I, I do a fair amount of work for folks, you know, changing out sights, uh, installing new barrels. We build some custom guns. Just, I mean, this is a side job for me, but um, I've got a lathe, I've got a mill. Um, I, I can do a lot of things. And so, um, and a lot of what I do that I show on my channel is, is on my own guns, um, but I do stuff for other folks as well. And one thing that it just blows my mind is folks don't know how to measure their barrel length. So um, if you're trying to measure your barrel length to see if a gun is legal, um, or if you are trying to measure your barrel length, say, on this Glock, to order a new barrel from a aftermarket distributor, okay? And uh, so I want to go through how to do that. And what I'm going to show you on the Glock and on the Bond Arms Derringer apply to all handguns except revolvers, all shotguns, and all rifles. Okay? Uh, these techniques apply to hinge action shotguns and rifles. They apply to pump action or semi-auto, uh, falling block, rolling block, you name it. Okay? They apply to every gun except revolvers. Revolvers, I'm going to pull them off of the side. Um, so I'm going to start with the Bond Arms. This is a uh, Bond Arms Derringer. This is the Roughneck, okay, in 45 ACP. Um, and I'll do a review of this gun one day um, and, and tell you my thoughts on it. But for right now, I'm just using it as an example because we have a lot of hinge action rifles, hinge action shotguns, and even hinge action pistols, okay? Close the action. And then typically, you're going to put a solid object, you know, so a pencil, Okay, would work. Uh, ideally, a dowel rod. This is a very, very skinny dowel rod, but a dowel rod, okay, a solid object. And the way you do this is you put that object down and it has to touch the breech face. Okay, it has to touch the breech face. Or in the case of like a bolt action rifle or a semi auto rifle, it has to touch the bolt face, which the, the front of the bolt is the breech face, but it has to touch where the firing pin protrudes from the firearm, okay? And you're going to hold that there tight. And while you hold that there tight, you're going to make a mark flush with the bore, okay? Make a mark, okay? And then you would measure from your mark. You'd measure from your mark, if I can get this to focus, to the end of that dowel rod, okay? And that is your barrel length. That is your legal barrel length. That is the way the ATF defines barrel length, okay? Now, I came up with this little thing because I get a whole lot of times, folks, what's my barrel length? What's my barrel length? What's my barrel length? And I've got just a zip tie and I've marked off. And so I'll just take this and I'll put it in the barrel. And I'll say, okay, that's right there. There's right. There's two. That's a two and a half inch barrel, okay? So that's a two and a half inch barrel, okay? Top and bottom, it's a two and a half inch barrel. Okay, so right there at that half inch mark. So two and a half inch barrel. Okay, for a semi automatic pistol, for a, and these are all unloaded, of course, that's why I started with them open. I don't even have a magazine in this guy. For a semi automatic pistol, for a semi automatic rifle, for a bolt action rifle, for anything that reciprocates. Okay, so that could be a pump, it could be a lever gun, anything where the bolt reciprocates or the slide reciprocates you're going to measure, again, from the end of the barrel to the breech face. And the easiest way to do this is to have the gun unloaded and closed. And again, insert your dowel rod, right? And if this was a rifle, you'd really have to do it this way. My little 8-inch my little, uh, zip tie doesn't work for rifles, but it's great for handguns, okay? And you'd insert that, and again, you would make a mark. So you'd hold that firm against the breech face, and you'd make a mark, right? And from that mark to the end, that would be the length of this barrel. Um, and again, if you're like me and you just want a quick, easy measurement, right? That is pretty much a three and a half inch barrel. Okay, that's three and a half inch barrel. Okay, and so if you wanted a barrel long enough to thread for a suppressor or a muzzle brake or something like that, you'd have to get a longer barrel. Uh, so you'd go with a three and three quarter, four inch, something like that. Okay, that's how you measure barrel length for. Hinge action, semi-auto, uh, pump action, lever action, 
almost any gun except a revolver. Now, revolvers are weird because your breech face is way back here. Okay, so here's your breech face, and here's your cylinder. And if this were treated like a semi-auto, you'd close the cylinder. That's not how revolvers are treated. Revolvers are measured from the forcing cone to the end of the barrel. So this is your barrel. And none of... So in the Derringer, the ammunition sits here. Where the ammunition is housed, your chamber, is included in your barrel length. Okay? Same with shotguns, same with rifles, same with semi-auto pistols. Your, your ammunition sits right here in your chamber, but that whole thing is measured. Okay? Your cylinder, where your ammunition is housed, is not part of your barrel length with a revolver. It is measured from the end of the forcing cone to the end of the barrel as I drop my gun. Okay? So the easiest way to do this is actually open it up and put a finger there. Insert your dowel rod until it hits your finger. Okay? Make a mark. Right? Or you could just, like, I'll just do it like this. I'll put my thumbnail right there. And I'll pull it out, and from there to there is your barrel length. Okay? With my little tie wrap, it's easy. You put it in, right? This is a two and a quarter inch barrel. Okay, so there's two. So that's about a two and a quarter inch barrel. Okay, so two and a quarter, right? So if it went to there, it'd be two and a half, but it's two and a quarter. Okay, so that's how you measure revolver barrel lengths. So revolvers are oddballs. The chamber of, revol of a revolver is not included in the barrel measurement. The chamber of Derringers, semi autos, and all your rifles and all your shotguns are included in your barrel measurement, okay? So if you ever want to, say for example, shorten a shotgun barrel, okay? Your minimum legal length on a shotgun barrel is 18 inches. And my advice, I'm not a lawyer, is always, always, always leave yourself a quarter of an inch or so of, of margin of error. And so when you're done with that shotgun, with it closed, you insert a dowel rod 18 plus some small margin of error better go into that barrel and disappear, okay? If 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 what goes into the barrel with an unloaded gun is 17 and a half inches, you have an illegal firearm, okay? Rifles, it's 16 inches, okay? And uh, important thing to remember, guys, if you have a removable muzzle device, right? So we talk about suppressors, flash hiders, you know, muzzle brakes, things like that. If it is not permanently affixed to the barrel, it is not included in the barrel length. So for an AR-15 with a flash hider, to measure the barrel, I have to take the flash hider off unless it is tack welded on. So if it's just threaded on with a crush washer, I've got to take that muzzle brake off. I've got to take that flash hider off to legally measure that barrel length, okay? Anything under 16 inches, you cannot have a rifle stock on it because it is legally a rifle and if the barrel's under 16 inches, it's a short-barreled rifle, okay? Um, with a shotgun, it would be a short-barreled shotgun, or what most folks refer to as a sawed-off shotgun. So that's how you measure barrel length. And so, you know, if you want a replacement barrel for this Glock, and of course my zip tie is kind of a rough measurement, because this thing's a weird measurement. I think it's like, uh, I think it's like 3.35 inches, and my, my zip tie comes up to just shy of three and a half. But if I actually measure this with the dowel rod, um, and then measured that mark with, say, a caliper, it would give me that precise barrel measurement, okay? Give me that precise measurement, and and then I would know, okay, if I want this exact length barrel back, that's what it's got to be to have this same look on the front, okay? Um, so anyway, I hope that helps someone. Um, if you're interested in measuring your barrel length, it's a pretty simple process. Just make sure you stay out of legal trouble, and if you're cutting something short, uh, always give yourself a little wiggle room uh, just in case. And one final word I will add is that uh, there is no minimum barrel length on pistols, okay? And so this is a two and a quarter inch barrel. If I wanted to saw it off shorter, I could. Obviously, it's going to reduce my ballistics. It would make it less effective. But legally, I'm not going to get in any trouble, okay? So hope it helps you. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks for following our channel.